The challenger, Sosa, awkward, aggressive. Uh, overnight, and uh, that may cut his energy down and it is a fact. Well, also, you have Joe Goosen working across from Michael Nunn for the first time and really thinks he has a chance, a better than even money chance, to take rain. It is cold there, Bobby. Oh, yeah, it's cold. This who served time for his involvement in a 1983 boxing scandal. Based on the fact that he probably too knows that he was seven pounds overweight. It was only the first round, and that will, with a veteran like him. Elusive, likes to bob and weave, clever foot, 68. TKO of Mark the Buchanan in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That I travel with Angelo, I never saw a fight of his have problem with Judge putting the pressure, and then he's going to get counterpunched today. Like Lasix put themselves in vans and put the heat on with plastic. I've seen him for Michael Nunn. It's sure, Ken, and if I were Murky Sosa, I'd be putting more very awkward fighter. Sosa likes to mix it up and favors the brawling stuff. Carrying around a disadvantage right now. He better get this guy out of here in a hurry. Sosa's getting in some good hard shots here, and nothing back. Yeah, you'll see that, you know, none, he got, he's got the boxing ability, but again, we don't know. This is the middle. Box this man. Of Panama Lewis in the corner of Michael Nunn saying don't guns from the inside and that's what he's uh, he's got to do a guy who gives everything he's got hundred percent of the time Merck and mentally may be affecting him already via decision got his shot and went on to defeat then middleweight and they love an aggressive fighter they don't like pity padding stuff so boxers the moving stick no I mean, Mexican judges like fighting Sosa devastated by that loss to but better than in the second round none seems to scheduled for 12 how does this affect uh, with Panama it's more excitement it's more uh, cheerleading it's listening to Panama in the gym and throughout training camp so it's probably not going to be that different as we looked in Michael Nunn's corner while Panama is is not impatient he I mean he's he's taking his time he's trying rematch in January of 93 Nunn was standing several low blows Dom patient right now he's got to force a brawl he's got to force a street fight for a peekaboo style is not giving him a, a good platform to launch his attack the fans vocally behind the chokes. Look at none. Remember, he's a champion. He is an excellent boxer. The bait. While Sosa was in the corner, Joe Goose and Nunn's former trainer kept his fight. Where they'll get inside, you'll see some hips, some elbows, some shoulders. This. And Bobby, he doesn't. He seems to saw. He'll watch from the outside. Sosa tries to there to try it again. He'll be from Puebla, Mexico. The champion, of Michael Nunn. And the he, he doesn't know how to get close enough to do all the things he's got. See, Sosa hesitates, and when he hesitates, he gets hit. He is the number 10 ranked contender, and he's got a nice little record. He comes and punches underneath, and more likely than not, turns him around. Put the towel over. Murky Sosa as we enter into round six scheduled for 12 for the W. Gorky left hand ties him up and here again he's pushing back getting in the by none but it was shielded by the glove of Sosa. Michael Nunn I think Sosa came on in the second round worked well but first Sosa is peeking out from his gloves trying to almost block and tap away each of Nunn's careful in the future. That, that's completely different. <laughs> that's totally different offense. He has to go all out offense and hope that his awkward. So then earlier in the fight as we head for the bell, Eli Sosa coming into this play. Yes, he Nigel Bennett. Eyes all swollen up. I, again, as, as Bobby points out, he's... Now, he's running for his life. For the WBA Super Middleweight title scheduled for 12. Lean toward his style of fighting better, but he's not doing it. He's letting none dictate the pace. He's telling him to do the things, but nothing can work because this other guy's just simply not there. And going up against his old fighter. Not to say nothing. The title, the IBF middleweight championship. He was with him. That big rubber bumper there helped him out a great deal. He does not look happy. I'll tell you what, it's appeared as if Michael Nunn said I can't fight anymore. Yeah. They were trying a little bit. Michael was also holding, tying him up and leaning back, and the ropes were a little loose. Kind of between the ropes, he was pushed a little bit more, it looked like, by Sosa. Boxing has uh, <laughs> some strange things happen. He looked pain. He, he didn't, and he certainly didn't look happy. All right, let's, let's, let's take a look at this. 
Well, that, uh, Bobby Chaz, is the first time I ever heard golf being compared to Bobby. And then after uh, Michael jumped off the corner, he went right at him. Sits down at his corner, says, I don't feel like going on, and then... It's going to be a decision or a late round. Oh, nice shot by uh, none. Considerably better than this when he's 100% and he's fresh. I can't understand... Well, I'll tell you, you know... Angelo Dundee left Mexico, went back home because of personal... Because in the years that I worked with him, I never saw anything like this. The family with his wife, and if that's the case, we certainly hope that Helen... Get around. Nunn's... Excuse me, Stephen. Nunn's back on... I, I think that... Um... The uppercut. Let's see what happens. See, Nunn is so much quicker. If they're both... Let's see if Michael Nunn turns it up a notch here. The point. I think he's physically capable of doing it against Michael Nunn, and that's hope. That's odd. <laughs> that was a strange uh, blow by uh, Sosa. He wants, he fires punches when he wants, and he's pretty accurate with everything he's landing. Not scheduled for 12. Here's a good combination to the Any of the effects of that weight loss. And round number nine is now in the books. Flurries and happens after a bell, and it's kind of strange. The passion in his eyes as he instructed Murky Sosa. Don't tell the box of two more, three more, 10, 11, and 12. Oh, he's going to be a surprise to me, and I think most of the boxes. That, but he is producing W's on his record. Well, I think not only does it batter your face, it batters your spirit, and it does zap your energy. So he realizes this fight is all but one that's going through the motions the last few in May of 91, when ahead on all cards, he dropped that yellow light on the is means that there's only so many seconds left. Either deaf or shows a lot of restraint. Round 11. Well, it's, it's obvious that Goosen thinks he's either affected, but again, late in the fight, the weight could be coming into play. Could have been a better shake. are almost caved in, knock kneed. It looks like he can't get them, his legs under him. Look at him just standing. I mean, with the tidal essence of the, of the uh, feet, of the hands, of the head, the... This... ...that you see in, in nine. Look at the way he keeps his head in, uh, moving. And About 35,000 on hand here at Chatamok State in the last round. Let's go after him. You know, sometimes... Former IBF middleweight champ looking to retain his WBA super middleweight. ...of uh, commensurate skill, that not, not desire. He's got the desire. Yes. Yeah, I don't think if he were fighting a top-notch fighter... He might not have lost at all. I mean, he, does, he doesn't look slim and trim. Though. Ineffective. Totally ineffective. And that is it. It was lost as far as Murky Sosa was concerned, but he just appears a little too happy for him.